The history of the Blue Wahoos really goes back to 2002 when my wife Rishi and I bought a struggling independent team in a struggling independent league. And we didn't know if we could ever get an affiliate. We needed a stadium and so on. So actually in 2006, we started a push to get a downtown stadium. Um, like many things, it was a hard push. It wasn't actually, it was approved in 2006, but because of referendums and other things, the stadium and the, didn't actually start being built to 2009, finished for 2012, because part of it was it was sitting on toxic soil. So it took $18 million to get rid of the toxic soil. And what we told the community is, if we could build a stadium, we thought it would improve the community. And it has. In fact, we have in the last four years alone, our assessed property value downtown has gone up from 675 million to 850 million, or 25.9%. Our Main Street, Palafox, has been one of the 10 best streets in the United States of America. Um, we now have 258 apartments downtown that we didn't have before. You can't find retail space on Palafox, it's so busy. So Now some people say, well, how do we know the stadium and the team made that much difference? So I said, well, if you look before and after, it's pretty clear that's what drove a lot of what I think, um, creating a much better community. And I think when I got into this, along with Rishi and now Bubba Watson and Derek Brooks, you know, it wasn't about baseball. You know, baseball was a tactic. It was about improving the quality of life for people in the community. You know, the family atmosphere is what I saw, the, the community coming together, pulling for the same team, the same people. So for me, it was a no-brainer to be a part of the team because of the, what it meant to the town. And the whole thing for me is Pensacola, Florida is is my town, it's where I was born and raised, and they taught me a lot, and, and being able to give back and, and have a team that we can all pull for, um, it's fun. That's why as the Pensacola Blue Wahoos, you know, we're the, one of the leaders in creating early brain development. You know, and we're, again, don't have enough kids ready for kindergarten, so at the University of Chicago School of Economics, we are the pilot for the United States, so every child's mom in the hospitals here, before they leave, get a tutorial on early brain development. So almost every run, every walk, every event either starts or ends at the stadium and it gives us a place to showcase not only what's great about this community but what we can do better. You know the fact that we highlighted the 1955 Little League teams that broke the color barrier in Florida by bringing the white players from Orlando finding the, the still surviving members of both teams including the black team from Pensacola made a real statement this summer. We went outside the playing field in the stands and in the community. Um, because we think it's not about, baseball's not about separating people, it's about bringing people together.